after you've practiced your timing and you feel good about it, when you are on stage or you're jamming, you cannot doubt your own timing, right? You have to be confident that your practicing paid off and you have to be, uh, you have to play with authority. First step is where is the quarter note? Okay, and now the second step, this is the step we're gonna practice, consistency of your swing time. It has nothing to do with playing laid back or ahead of the beat or whatever. I hear a lot of people talk about, I oh, have to be lazy, laid back. That is not, has nothing to do with swing. People that can play with timing like that already have good swing time, right? Now, it is true that a lot of people that have bad swing time, they are rushing. But they're not rushing because they're not feeling, uh, they're not feeling the, the rhythm in the right way. It's because they don't have consistency in their swing eighth notes. And what, what does that mean? It means that it doesn't matter how you divide the swing rhythm. But let's say you have a short and a long note, like long, short, long, short, long, short. That's what swing rhythm is, right? One, two, mm -hmm. 